Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and in this session, we will be learning about how to highlight duplicate cells in Excel. But before we begin, I would like to tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda, that is how to highlight duplicate values in Excel. Now for that, let's get started with the practical mode. Now we are on our Excel spreadsheet and this spreadsheet has some values of employees. That is their employee ID, name, designation, department, salary, date of birth and date of joining. Now our concern is to highlight some cells which are duplicate in this or some rows which are duplicate. So for example here you can see on row number 7 we have the details of Martha and you can see the same details of Martha in the row number 14 as well. Right. So you need to eliminate those cells or you need to eliminate those rows. Now you can say there is a quick way just few clicks and those will be eliminated that is conditional formatting. Yes, that is also one way, but I'll show you what's the problem with that. Okay, so let us select the entire table and get into conditional formatting. And here you have duplicate values, highlight cell rules with duplicate values. And there you go, the problem. So here we have designation which is duplicated in certain ways, department and salary, state of joining, right? So there are certain conditions or scenarios where you cannot directly identify which is the duplicate row. Again, you can use the same for this, right? So you can select the entire uh, column of employee ID and you can uh, identify the duplicate cells here since the employee IDs are unique for everyone. So this is a way, but let's dig a little deeper and understand the way of highlighting duplicates with an advanced technique. So let me cancel this and for that, let's create a new uh, column. And let's name this as duplicate flag. E flag. So the new column has been created which is D flag. So here we will be using a simple formula that is count if and here press tab to select the formula and here we will be adding our uh, range that is which range are you considering. So the range will be the employee ID since employee IDs are unique for every employee and, and let's press function F4 to fix it and now uh, again the criteria and the criteria will be the same cell that is a2 and now close the bracket and press enter now let's track the same formula to all the rows okay now here we have now what you can do is uh, sort it in an advanced way go to sort and filter and custom sort and here you will be sorting by the D flag and it will be smallest to largest. So now uh, you can apply the conditional formatting to highlight it. You can select the column H or the D flag, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules and here you can get into greater than and give the value as one. Okay. So all the cells which are, you know, repeated multiple times will be selected here and they will be highlighted with a selected color what you have given so i've given red so now you can select these cells and highlight them or delete them from your spreadsheet and now 
all your data in the spreadsheet as unique and clean so that's how you highlight duplicate cells in excel and with that we have come to an end of this session and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we used in this session then please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.